Yo, how's it going? Welcome back. Gonna do franchise mode yet again. My favorite series on the channel right now, the Montreal Canadiens. Right now, we are first in the division. Obviously, we're only nine games in. We gotta simulate a little bit more. We lost Price a little bit. It looks like he's injury prone now. Not looking good. But our team is still fairly competitive. We lost a little bit of depth in terms of defense last year. That's okay. It seems like we're doing well. We just gotta keep going. Looking to do back to back in the Stanley Cup final. Huden has been injured December 30th. Luckily, we got Desjardins. We got Byron for a little bit of depth. I'm glad I kept him. Who can play face off on the fourth line? Gonna go with McKeon. He's decent at it. I don't know if. Did he get substituted any into any other lines? He did. I will take him out. Going to put Thomas Hurdle in there. You know what? No, I'm going to give it... Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Hurdle. I want him to grow. I, I don't think he's going to. I don't think so. He has good chemistry with Byron, Bulio. Uh, no one we can really put him with. On special teams, I guess we could put him with Galchenyuk. But right now, it doesn't look like he's going to grow anymore. Even if he got up to uh, 85, I'd be comfortable playing him. I really would. As long as he, if he could get up to seven, uh, 85. Did I say 70? I meant 85. 84 is just a little bit low for a second-lined center. But nonetheless, he's a good player. He got good stats. He just doesn't have that high overall to go al along with it. Tampa Bay, did I just see Aiden O? There's no way I did. I don't think so. I, my eyes must have been tripping right there. I'm not too sure. December 30th, though, we're going to lose uh, Hudden for at least a month, it looks like. We keep on winning, though. I've, I'd be happy with two wins per one loss. I think that would be decent. We definitely can. I mean, we got Price healthy. We got Burns and Weber. We got Gelchenyuk up front. He's a 90. He's a, he's a stud for sure. Pacioretty, I mean, he's okay. He he didn't turn out, and he hasn't been producing the way I thought he would. But nonetheless, he is pretty good. Stefan Matteau, is he in the NHL? I believe he is. Yes, he is. I brought up Sherback. What's it? Nikita Sherback. Hopefully he can grow. He's 22 years old and still only a minus going forward. His shot is improving. He got good power. If that um, accuracy, accuracy could improve, really it's defense and physical where he's a liability. I'm still going to give him a little bit of... Oh, who do we got here? A D-man. One year left. You know what? I am going to claim him. Do I? Yeah, I'm going to for depth. I like that. I will claim him. Emelin's been injured. Are you? Now we have a chance to play Sergachev. He's low elite. He's 20 years old and he's 80 overall. It looks like he's going to get to top four. I really hope he does. I, The defense is okay. I really want physical and senses to get up there. Uh, he's like Sherback. I mean, he might... He might not. I Obviously, we all hope he does. That, that would be awesome, but... Uh, we gotta do defense again. Bo Yu is an 86 overall. It definitely looks like he's gonna fill out his potential, which is amazing to see. I was really worried because of the low, and Thomas Hurdle didn't achieve it. But it looks like Bo Yu is going to, and if not, better. Because he's gonna be a really solid top 4 guy. Multiple players are able to be dressed. Bo Yu's been playing amazing. He is 25. He definitely filled out his potential. 86 on the top four is great. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to pat him a little bit with Burns and Weber, but after this year with Burns gone and then Weber gone in a few years, we don't have that stud yet. Hopefully, um, Sergachev can become that player. As of now, it's not looking like he's going to. We have Honker as well. We definitely got the prospects, 
just not the elite defenders right now. Now, Sergachev has good um, chemistry with both Hurdle and Galchenyuk. If he can become a top six midway through the year, I'm definitely going to put him on the team to hopefully boost Hurdle's overall up. He's only a minor top two, and I don't want to fuck up that low elite. I really want him to become a top two guy. I'm not going to change too much when it comes to that, but if I see that he's growing a lot, without a doubt, I'm going to move him up. So we move down to fourth. Again, it's still early on. We're just two wins out of first place. Nothing to get too crazy about. We're going to have to go a few more months to really get a feel of what our team's all about here. Going to sim up to Philly. A lot of cuts so far. Definitely a lot of injuries. Hopefully that can, you know, die down. We only have 78 chemistry. I really want that to go up. I want that to be like an 85. I don't know why it's down. We didn't make, we only signed one guy in free agency. I don't know. If you know how to get chemistry up better, let me know because right now I have no idea. Back down to 500. Damn. Come on, Montreal. Gotta do better. Now Mio has been injured. You have got to be kidding me. I'm gonna turn injuries down a little bit to 35. If you agree or don't agree, let me know. It just seems like it's happening a little too often, especially for a YouTube video. I don't know. I'm gonna try that out. If you don't like it, I can always change it back. But let's look at player progression so far. We do have one meeting to take care of. I'm pretty sure it's Andrew Shaw. It is. What do they want to talk about? Good performances. <laughs> good work, Shaw. Good work. I got a team meeting. Top teams require effort, but, okay. Yeah, rise to the occasion. Don't disappoint them. There we go. Okay, they're starting to warm up to me a little bit. That's good to see. I'm getting better with that for sure. Huden's injured. What? No, he's not. Is he? Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice. So we got two injuries. We got uh, Huden and Mir. Damn, that, that really sucks. Go to progress report. Did anybody get better so far? They did, so that's good. Let's take a look. We got Bue. The, oh, yeah, I forgot all about him because he's in the CHL. Uh, he's grown a lot. He's only 18 years old. I hope, I pray he turns into a great uh, defender. Strom, looks like he might not fulfill his potential, but that's okay. So as you can see, we got a ton of uh, forward prospects in the system. Let's go to defense. Really, all we got is Yuslin. Anybody else at all? Oh yeah, we got Sergachev, but besides those two, we got a few 7th defensemen. Not too much coming up. That's why I'm looking to draft one of them. Next year or the year after, we might have to trade Shea Weber. We might trade him to a uh, Stanley Cup contending team for a younger defenseman. Definitely not this year. Probably not next year because we still got to win at the end of the day. So another depth defenseman, Kyle Quincy, one year left. You know what? I am going to pick him up because it looks like it's going to be an injury year. And then we can also have more depth in the AHL, hopefully, to allow Sergachev and Yuselin to grow. Mainly Sergachev. So, oh, is he already in the system? Perfect, he is. So, Sergachev is an 80 overall. We got Quincy now. I'm going to take a look just to make sure he went to the AHL roster. Just going to do best lines down there. No need to do anything else. Yeah, no, he didn't get put back in. So, best line. Now we got Quincy playing with him. Hopefully that can give him a veteran presence to get better. We also got um, Koliakovo. I don't know, to play with Yuselin. So we do got the veterans down there. Hopefully they can help him grow. I don't know if that's how it works in the game. It is a video game after all, but it doesn't hurt to try it out, you know. How long to the deadline? Are we going to be able to simulate up there? We still got quite a long way. 
Yeah, we... Oh, what? Did I miss it? Where is it? Red. Did I completely miss the deadline? Okay. Oh, never mind. Wait here. So, we got... Yeah, we got a little over two months to go. I'm gonna set it to simulate up there. I don't know if we're gonna get to there. I'd like to, but... Mirror's available. Perfect. Come on. We gotta get on a winning streak now. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I can't believe it. He's only gonna miss one or two games. So that is good, but... We definitely ha have the injury bug right now. We gotta maintain. Mirror's available to play. That's good. What do we have to maintain? And we've been making good money. We made a little extra money last year for funds. That's always good to see. Team store. Can we upgrade it? We only have 0.7 left for the rest of the season. That's not good at all. Ah, I don't even know if I should upgrade parking lot. I'm going to. That might come back to, to bite me. Like, look, we don't even have funds for that. I'm st I don't know how to make money in the game. I know, I know how to put together a winning team. That I know how to do. I don't, I don't know how to get money. You've got to be kidding me. Mio is just getting beaten up out there. He is getting absolutely beaten. I mean, and it's not like you can scratch him to help him heal, because then they get all pissed off at you. So definitely, the game has its flaws still. It is improving, which I like to see. Let's scout again in the OHL on defensemen. I don't. We're not going to get that good of a draft pick. We do got some depth, though. Maybe we can trade for a defenseman. You never know. Stringing together a few wins. Can we beat Toronto? We can't even beat Toronto. Ay ay ay. Not looking like the best year. But once again, we're coming off a Stanley Cup victory. I'm not going to get too mad. We're going to make the playoffs. That's a given. If we don't, then that's a very, a very bad season. But we should at least make the playoffs minimum. At this point, we might not even. We're going 500. We're going 500. I don't know why. We, we got Carey Price in that. I'm going to stop the simulation right there. We're only 500. We might go below. F okay, never mind. Technically below 500. We got two overtime losses. Let's take a look at Stat Central. We're six. Still a tight division. You know, a winning streak and we're up in third place. But let's take... Radulov once again leading the team in points. That's crazy. Let's check out though. Goals four per game. Oh no. Goals... Okay. Goals four were pretty good. We need to get better defensively. I don't know how we're doing that bad, but we are. Power play's doing good. That's great. And penalty kill is all right. Definitely the defensive side of things we need to change up. It is because of the lack of uh, top six we have. Let's take a look at forwards here. Who's doing good? So Radulov is doing excellent. Pacioretty, Galchenyuk, both are doing excellent. Not goal scoring. We, uh, we don't have that elite sniper on the team to play alongside of them. I mean, Radulov is doing pretty good. Thomas Hurdle is doing good. But we don't have that elite goal scorer. Marchand, he's a second liner. Do we make a trade for a sniper? That's the question. We might have to make a trade for a sniper. Uh, I can hold a team meeting. I may as well. Hopefully get the chemistry up more. It's back at 78. God damn it. Tough challenges. I'm going to do demanding again. And, okay, demanding looks like it's the way to go with our team. But let's take a look at the defensive side of things. How can we improve? Because forwards, they're doing good. We gotta take a look at defense. I'm gonna split up Weber and Burns once again. But use an 87! That's what I'm talking about. Wow, is he ever amazing. Okay. I'm gonna put Emelin back up at the top line for defense. I'm going to hide Honka behind all of them at the top six. And then Bo Yu, he's growing, he's growing amazing. I'm going to give him a little extra...
special team time, actually. I'm going to put him on a top-line power play with Shea Weber. I'm going to bring Burns down, and then penalty kill. Penalty kill, I think he's okay on second line. He's not a, he's not a stud in terms of defense, though. So I'm going to give him second line penalty kill. But let's take a look at around the league at some of the trade blocks because we need a we need a score again it doesn't even have to be an elite score but we definitely need a sniper to play alongside of Galchenyuk let's take because then we can move Marshan down with Hurdle and give us even more depth I don't think too many guys are going to be on the block we're not at the deadline just yet but there might be you never know Franvin no thank you doesn't look like there's anybody. Palmanville, we don't need a playmaker. I really just want a, a stud of an offensive guy. Wow. New Jersey wants to get rid of an elite centerman. That's interesting. Hank Sedin. Do we go after Henrik? What about Daniel? What team is he on? Did he retire? He might have retired. Is he on Vancouver? No, he's not. Okay. Hank Sedin. Do we go after Hank Sedin? What team was he on? He was on Philly? What team was he on? Ottawa. Do we go after Hank, Hank Sedin? He's not a sniper, but he only has one year left. Vancouver. I'm down with a Vancouver guy for sure. In terms of, they got Pajot, they got Brassard, they got Brown. They got depth on center for sure. What about wingers? My bad about that. Yeah, the, okay, no, they're not too bad on left wingers. What about um, defense? Do they need defense at all? They got a bit of depth. But, yeah, they don't have a goalie. Wow. <laughs> Eddie Lack at 82 and he's injured? I don't even think we have a goalie to give him. We gave up for Cali. Nah, we don't. I don't know what we give up for Hank Fedin. So, I guess rule him out of the table. I checked out Ottawa's left wingers and they got Hoffman and Pumple. Both snipers. Pump Pumple might grow a little bit but right now they're both locked up for two years. Pumple is a little bit younger. Here's Pumple's stats and then here's Hoffman's stats. Should we go after one of them maybe for the first line sniper? Phoenix has a plethora of left wingers. They got Dvorak, Reader, and Martinuk, all snipers. Martinuk is 26 and 84 overall. He does have good shooting. Maybe not the best option though. A top 9 for Reader. He's 25. Maybe not the best option. But then Dvorak, top 6, 22 years old, at an 83 overall. Look at that shooting. Obviously, it's increased by the power. The only downside is slap shot accuracy, but skating is pretty good, puck skills is good, discipline is good. He's got four years to grow. Do we pick him up? That could be an option for sure. In free agency, apparently James Van Riemsdyk is still a free agent. I don't know how, I don't know why, but JVR is available in free agency. Obviously, we don't have the cap space, but that's interesting. I do we try and make a move for him? He only wants one year. He wants one year at six mil. We Maybe we could try and clear up five mil cap space. You never know. <laughs> Just an option. Who do we even have that we could ditch that is around five mil? I guess, no, we don't, not, not Shea Weber or Brett Burns. Um, doesn't look like anyone really expendable, but if you have any ideas on how to improve the team, how to get a sniper to play alongside Patriotti and Galchenyuk, or do you think we should just give what we got, you know, don't make a trade, try and let the chemistry improve and just see what happens with the team. But right now, last in the division, we need to step it up. Let me know if you